In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed your Storyline or Captivate courses into another web page using iframes. This is a great technique if you are trying to build your portfolio and you want your users to be able to interact with your courses without leaving your portfolio page. So, right now I have my WordPress blog post open. I do host WordPress on my own server, so this is actually a WordPress.org site, but iframes will work with any free website creator, including Weebly or Wix or WordPress.com. You just have to be able to get into the HTML editing mode. So right here, I want to give an example of an embedded course. So I want to put my iframe right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I'm, I embed it into the right spot in a second by just typing the words embed here. Okay. Next, I want to pull the iframe tag. For some reason, I can never remember it. So I'm always Googling how to find uh, how to get the iframe code. I'm going to paste that in here and actually I want to um, paste it uh, without any any uh, colors or anything. Okay, so there's my basic code. Um, this is really simple HTML code. iframes just specifying uh, what kind of uh, code this is. And notice that there is a closing tag here as well. It's really important in HTML that there's both an opening tag and a closing tag. And then right here between the quotation marks is just where I'm going to paste my own URL. So the course I want to host is called my Keyword Generator. And I actually have it hosted on the Google Cloud Storage platform. So this is my bucket where it lives. And I'm actually going to... Um, embed the URL for the HTML5 file. I found that when you just embed the index.html, it tends to force the user to the Flash version. And if you if your user is trying to view the Flash version, it probably won't work because browsers are really cracking down on that, that these days. So I'm going to take the uh, URL for the HTML5 version. I'm going to copy that link address. I've already got this all set up to be public. And I'm going to paste that into the quotation marks, right? So you can see iframe source equals everything's in the two quotation marks. And then I also want to make sure it's a, a good size for viewing. It's just an example, it doesn't have to be huge. So I'm going to make the width 500 pixels and the height about 380 pixels. So these two numbers are in pixels and uh, they're pretty self explanatory. That's how wide it's going to be, that's how high it's going to be. Okay. So that is everything all put together. Notice I opened this in a text edit window. I'm on a MacBook here. Um, this is a nice way just to be able to edit your code without uh, getting it messed up by putting it to Word or something else and having the um, URLs auto hyperlink and things like that. So this is a nice way just to keep your code clean while you're working on it. So I'm gonna go back to my WordPress post. And I already typed in the words embed here where I want to put the code. So I can go into the text version here and look, here's embed here. So I know I'm going to paste it into the right spot. So I just go ahead and paste it right there. And then when I go back to visual, there it is. Um, that's my keyword generator embedded into my blog post. Now I noticed that the box is a little bit tall. I'm actually going to go back and uh, make the height Actually, you know what? I'm going to make it just a little bit wider instead. Make it 600 pixels wide, see if that kind of straightens it out. All right, now you can see that the border pretty much matches the tutorial side size. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, just save that draft, and I'll show you how to do this in Weebly as well. So I have kind of a, a demo course um, set up in Weebly. It's kind of, uh, kind of messy because I've just been messing around with um, showing people how to use it. But what I'm going to do is... Um, Say I want to put my keyword generator somewhere here in the middle. Uh, I actually went to the elements sidebar here. If you can't see embed code, you might just have to click show more. And I'm going to drag the embed code into right there. All right, so that's loading. And it says click to set custom HTML. I just double click on that. I click edit custom HTML. This is already highlighted, so I can get rid of it. And I paste in my iframe source. And then I click outside of the box when I am done, and poof, there it is. And again, you'll want to play with this to make sure that the width and the height are, are correct. You may want to um, center it as well. Yeah, 
you'll have to play with it a little bit more to get it to look right. Um, but yeah, if you make it bigger, it'll look really nice. And I still recommend um, having a URL to view the full screen version. So let me show you what I mean. So let me grab just the URL for my thing. And then underneath the iframe itself, I'm going to put view full screen. And highlight that, paste in the URL so that when I preview it, go ahead and give that a moment to load. WordPress can be a little sluggish in the preview. All right, so this is the preview of my post, and poof, here's my keyword generator, and then there's the full screen. So if someone wanted to view the full screen, um, I've already set this up in Storyline, so it'll expand to the full screen, and they're not limited to this little tiny box right here. Okay, so that is as simple as it gets. If you can copy and paste, you can put it in an iframe. Um, again, just remember your courses do have to be hosted somewhere else, but it's a really nice way to use uh, Google Cloud Storage, for example, which is a free uh, hosting platform, to be able to create a really nice portfolio on any free website, including Weebly or Wix or WordPress.com, um, and you'll be able to embed your courses really nice and neatly.